How not to watch porn tomorrow. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm going to tell you how. Okay, the best way for you to get up tomorrow and not watch porn is to have something else to do. You need to fill your time with meaningful, purposeful existence. And I work with a lot of men who are overcoming the use of pornography. And a number one thing that they tell me is I had some downtime, I was totally bored, I was feeling stressed, I had nothing else to do, and it was really hard to resist the urge. So I'm not, definitely not, uh, saying that you should jam up your schedule with nonstop nonsense. I am not a fan of that. But what you should do is know what you're going to do tomorrow. So for example, Tomorrow, I have some work to do. I'm gonna do that for a couple hours. Then I'm gonna chill on my back porch with a cup of coffee for an hour. I'm gonna read during that time. I'm gonna train my brain during that time. Then I have to run one of my munchkins around. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna put on some Italian cooking music. I'm gonna make some food that likely half my kids won't eat. Then I'm gonna make some chicken tenders so that they will eat but I'm gonna enjoy my time in the kitchen, just chilling. Then I'm going to hang out with some friends for an hour. Then I'm going to watch a little mindless TV and go to bed. So I have filled my day with being on purpose in my work, my relationships, and my hobbies. And actually there really wasn't a hobby in there. Maybe I'll do some boxing too. So. Now I have a day that's filled with using my brain in different but purposeful ways, and I don't have five hours to try to decide what I'm going to do, which will inevitably lead you down the slippery slope back into your habit because you're bored, you're stressed, and there's nothing else to fill that time in a meaningful and purposeful way. So the number one thing you can do today, right now, is to make a plan for tomorrow and make it a good one that excites you. Get on purpose in your work, your relationships, and your hobbies. Decide what you're going to do when and create flexibility in it. Balance the way that you're using your brain between work, relationships, and hobbies, and you will have an awesome day. And if you do that tomorrow, and the tomorrow after that, and the tomorrow after that, your days will be filled on purpose with your why and you won't have to run away from them into a habit that really doesn't serve you. It's just stimulating your brain and calming it. Remember that. So if you can set your days up so your brain does not need to be stimulated nor does it need to be calmed, then you won't have to go back to the habit. That is how you are successful at not watching porn tomorrow. Now remember, if you need help in that journey, I'm here for you. You can email me at trish at drtrishlee.com or you can go to my website, sign up for my short course. It's only $49. It's super awesome. I'm getting really great feedback. It is a perfect starting point for you. If you're ready to make this change in your life, now is the time because it will only get worse. Trust me. Okay, control your brain or it'll control you.